Hello there, Ali here from Sports Templates and today I'm bringing you guys one of the most detailed templates I've ever worked on. This template took around 350 hours to complete. It's an 8K and has a lot of new features that I've never had in any previous templates. So I'm gonna run you through them and hope you guys like this template. If you want me to do more templates with these type of features, please let me know in the comment section below. So let's get started. With this template, we have three views. We have the front view, three quarters view and a back view and everything in this template is editable so it comes with players body so if you zoom in you can see the level of details here everything is computer generated so I worked on texturing and the materials for the skin and it also includes two options for the skin so we have uh, this light skin version and we we'll also have a dark skin version on top of that these Tattoos are also editable. So let's say you want to edit this tattoo. You can just go and edit a smart object here and basically just add any shape. Let's say like this shape. Make it kind of dark like this. And save your smart object. And you can see it, it applies as a tattoo uh, it also works on both skins updates on both also I've included this tattoo fade layer which basically controls the fade of this tattoo so if you want it like to be super dark you can bring it down a little bit like this or if you want it to, to be like an old tattoo just bring it up I feel like 45% uh, is a is a nice medium uh, but it's up to you guys basically if you're doing a design for like a specific player that's known for for some sort of like a sleeve tattoo or uh, any different tattoos on their body this kind of this helps uh, make the template look more realistic and uh, it just makes it a little bit more customizable one other option is you can you can turn off the player's body completely so if you want to just focus on the uniform design you can just do this and have your uniform as its own separate design. One more feature is the dynamic lighting. This feature is, is usually used in, in the 3D space. So if you're a 3D artist, you're pretty much familiar with this type of lighting. Basically, we add this sort of colorful map, which is called the normal map. And basically, it's used in video games, it's used in 3D. And what it does, it control, it adds a new layer of customizable light to your design. So if we turn on both these layers and if we add a black layer in the background just so we can see what's happening let's say you have a design where you have the light coming from this side in the background and you want to add you want to make you want to reflect that into your concept you can just easily go to this let to this layer double click here and just move this slider this basically gives you all the possible lighting lighting scenarios you might have in any type of design and let's say you want like a light to come from the top and in the second layer we control the intensity of this light so uh, we can make it more intense we can make it more like a subtle light but basically this is how you use it and let's turn off this background layer and just click and save And now if you go, if we go in, so if we turn on the dynamic lighting, we can see the difference it makes. So this kind of gives our model more definition against the background. And we can, if we, if we need more than one light, we can easily just new smart object via copy. And we can just change the light direction. Let's say something like this. And now we have two lights. You got one from this side and one from this side. And for today's design, I'm gonna be working on this on this Rams uniform. Um, I'm gonna be duplicating this Color Rush Rams uh, uniform. And to do that, I already created this little library with the colors and the graphics we might need. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the uh, shirt. To do that, we, we need to go to the editable parts folder open it up and go to shirt and we can start with this layer 
basically any layer with the purple color means that it's a smart object and if it has a red color means it's a, an editable vector shape so we want to start with uh, the base shirt wrap basically we just need to hide it for now and go to embossed logos double click on that I'm just gonna keep this number at 86 uh, remove this outline and let's use this color from the Ram color rush jersey remove this uniform text and control s to save let's take a look okay it looks like it's embossed on top of it which is the type of look I'm looking for uh, then next turn on the base shirt wrap hide the grid and color it with the Rams yellow next we need to move to the uh, color so for the color design I have this placeholder crest so I'm gonna replace it with the NFL crest all right let's hide it and let's color the background with this dark blue looks good then we're left with the color tube let's see all right I'm gonna go with the same color as well now moving on we need to do the shoulders so the shoulders have this uh, Rams horn let's try to replicate that all right so first thing we need to go to uh, right shoulder top double click hide the uh, editable number and let's go to our pen tool and let's try to get this horn kind of shape so basically I'm doing kind of like this and closing the shape let's put it in here so what we need is to go to the convert point tool and make this more of a sharp angle let's try to control here as well all right background is yellow so let's save and see how we did all right so looks like we need to push push it a little bit all right let's try something like this looks perfect so what we need to do is to duplicate it on the other side so basically we just need to open this layer hide the text and the grid make the background yellow copy the shape paste it here and control T then flip horizontal push it up a little bit and let's see how we did all right we just need to push it a little bit to the left all right looking good now moving on to the uh, shoulder sides so starting with the left side we have the numbers on it so just gonna turn on the number here use the dark color background yellow and then we have this this horn shape coming from the side so try to do that as well um, again to the pen tool so something like this and pick this color let's save and see how we did all right looks about good let's do the same for this shoulder side so go to the right shoulder side double click open it up hide the grid yellow turn on the text and copy the shape we just made But 
just flip it horizontally. Control S to save. And we should be good. Maybe we can push it up a little bit. So if we go up, if we go back. All right, now moving on to these small sleeves. So basically just click on their layer and pick yellow. Same thing goes for the right sleeves. We do have this editable layer where you can add your own graphics, but this one, we're just gonna go with simple colors. So we can select this layer and also select the yellow. And that's gonna be it for the jersey. Moving on to the helmet. We close the shirt, open the helmet file, and let's go to the add your logo here layer. So hide the grid. And let's go with a little bit lighter color because uh, metals tend to be a little bit darker. So maybe something like this. And it does come with two stripes. So let's use these as a guide so we can draw these horns here. So let's start with the horns from here. Let's make it yellow and let's save to see how it looks. All right, so we need to push it a little bit to the right. All right, let's duplicate it. Control T, flip horizontal, and let's add it on the other side. Let's hide the stripes. Control S to save. And that's it for the uh, helmet. We can add the Rams logo on this pad. So just scale it down a little bit. Just bring it under the face mask. What else we can do is change the face mask color. So we're going to go with this color. Uh, chin strap, yellow. The other one is yellow as well. Let's go for a dark chin pad. Let's go with dark for this visor connection. Visor clip, I'm gonna go yellow as well for these. Face mask clip, also yellow. Or let's go dark for these. And uh, the strap clip, let's go yellow. So basically we're done with the shirt and the helmet. Now we can move on to the gloves. The gloves are connected, so if you change one glove, the other one updates automatically. Let's start with the palm, go with the yellow. Wrist, let's go with yellow as well. Fingers yellow. Back of the hand, and then like center line, let's go dark. And these two lines, let's go with the dark line, as well as the top seam. So it did the same thing here. And now, What's left are the pants and the shoes. So for the pants, I have these two layers to create your own stripes. And we can see the stripe here is dark blue and white. So we can add, start with this one. Let's do dark blue on the outside and white on the inside. Control S to save. And here we have it. Now let's do the same for the other side. All right. Now I just need to add a Nike logo here. Just pick this color, make the background yellow, and let's see where it falls on the pants. Uh, I think you just need to push a little bit to the right. So let's give it a little bit push. Control S. And that's it. For the other side, we just need to change the color to yellow. And 
and now we just need to make the rest of the pants yellow so starting with the belt sides the frames buckle the belt okay close the pants and that's pretty much it for it now moving on to the shoes and uh, socks it's basically the same we have wraps here but we're not gonna add any graphics so basically just hide them for now go to the socks change the color to yellow and the same goes for the uh, shoes pretty much everything is the shoes is pretty much all yellow apart from the uh, soles so just make everything yellow and make bottoms kind of white like this all right and that's pretty much it if you want you can hide these tattoos if you don't like them so you can go to the player body and hide all the tattoos I'm gonna go with the dark skin for this one so let's close it and let's use this dark background you have this grass effect on the ground which you can turn on and off also you have this smoke effect so if you want like a clean design you can remove them they also work with any color so if you turn on the color and if you want to go with a, like a yellow background you can do that for this but for this one I'm gonna go for dark to get better contrast one thing I forgot to show you is the visor so the visor is here you can uh, just pretty much use this color to pick any color you want and you can move the opacity to 100 if you want a mirror feel like this so I'm just gonna go back to 70 and make it white or or we can go dark like this and make it like this basically the exact same steps go for the three quarters view and for the back view and now we can zoom in to see the level of details in this template with this one I try to go as realistic as possible make it look as if it's a Nike render uh, everything is built from scratch so we did the best we can to make this template super realistic and useful so you guys can unleash your creativity and create your own designs that's it for today please keep an eye on sports templates we're coming up we're coming out with new templates every month uh, we got more stuff for rugby lacrosse we got tennis and golf coming soon so keep an eye on sports templates follow us on instagram youtube facebook twitter and see you guys on the next one I'ma be ready now when I win my dick out. She said you.